The area around St. Lucia is really teeming with snakes. But, as I've noticed many times on other trips, it's really hard to find them. If you're looking for them, you turn over every log, you look under every rock, you look in the trees, you look in the grass, you look in the bush, and you can't find them. I haven't found anything yet. Um, it's not perfect weather, but hopefully it'll clear up and we'll find some reptiles. After trying to find snakes for a day and a half without success, we decided that we will follow the path to the beach, have a bit of a rest there. Trying to find snakes is not easy. It takes time, it takes effort, a lot of sweat. You need to rest, recuperate, take in some fluids. After failing to find any reptiles in the wild, we decided that we will visit the Crocodile Center close to St. Lucia. The last thing that I would have expected is to find a snake at the Crocodile Park. Not a captive one, just one that happens to be passing through. And we found it on a fence. Snakes are a weird bunch. Sometimes you go looking for them in the bush and you can't find them and then you go to a place with lots of human traffic, uh, lots of people walking about and you happen upon one. Try and spot the Gaboon Viper. Wait a minute. A shout out to Francois, Francois Higo, who joined me on this trip. It was really nice having company, somebody to hold the second camera and just to be there if anything, if the need arises. Thanks, bra. We stayed at Fairview Cottages and it was really enjoyable experience. Uh, big thanks to Dan and Ellen Price for their hospitality. Uh, it's um, if any of you guys are planning to travel down to St. Lucia and you don't mind staying just outside of town in Monzi, it's a real great place to stay, a really beautiful view. 